Uh, to face this tech, we've been having a few heat waves in the UK. Uh, the first one, I think, was in June, July. Um, I kind of got off my ass and decided, right, I'm going to build an RGB uh, PC fan sort of portable thing. I've been, it's been in the back of my mind for years. I never really sat down and actually looked into how I'd do it. So I was looking for looking around AliExpress, found this 128mm uh, PC fan. It's got six six uh, six pins coming off it, and, I've, and you're supposed to plug it into a controller and control it that way through your PC. Um, so I kind of like just took a gamble and just, just ordered it. I think it was only about eight pounds, I think. Um, whilst it was coming, I had a quick look about, and luckily I stumbled across a blog post which had the exact fan with the exact same pin out and everything. So I like locked into that. They basically reverse engineered what the uh, control box does, um, and I've figured out that basically they are they are 16 W uh, WS2812 style LEDs that can be controlled with the fast LED um, library, and then you got the they're, they're the four wires. There's basically power ground, five volts. Um, and then you got uh, data in, data out for the strip, so you can daisy chain them. The other two wires are basically 12 volts for the fan. I thought it was a 5 volt fan. Um, I'm not really, I never built a PC, so I wouldn't really know what the score is with that. But um, so basically, what I did was I cobbled together a 80 tiny 85. Well, I had it as like my test board, uh, test strip um, thing in my mob. I put that in there. I had a boost circuit that boosted the 5 volts to the 12 volts for the fan. Uh, and then I had like a cheap um, power bank board that basically just uh, you can either, which, which is quite good, you can either put an 18650 in it or you can just power it straight from a USB so you can have, because you only get about two hours with the 18650. Um, it's not great, the case design was kind of a bit of a, uh, it's like one of them, it's a disaster but it kind of works enough that I can't be bothered to remake it. So because when I was doing this, I basically I had parts that I had modelled already so I kind of just copied and pasted them all together mashed them in but I didn't realize this 18650 I thought it was the full height of the um the actual battery until I was um <laughs> come to actually put it together and I was like oh all right okay but I kind of I think it's a bit of a feature uh, it's not a bug it's a feature because you can kind of hot swap your uh, batteries easily and it saves height really um but yeah I've got like I say with the um test board I have these dip switches so you can kind of have 16 different um, individual presets on there, which is quite good. So I'll give you a quick demo. This is one of the modes is quite nice. It doesn't give up a hell of a lot of um, coolness, a lot of air, but I think it's just enough for like a pot, like a desk fan, like you'd have in your office or whatever in here. It's just perfect. You don't want something blowing too much because it's going to be soldering and stuff, and you don't want stuff to be blowing about. But I think it really just just takes the takes the edge off the heat. Uh, there's a few other things, uh, modes you can have. Um, I've got like an all, an all black one, so you can have it all basically on. If you want to save power, if you're on the battery, you can have no lights. The, the downside to this I found is if you have it on white LED, obviously all three LEDs are on. You need you literally lasts about thirty seconds and it cuts off. I think it's over, overpowers it. Um, there's a few other ones which are. It's a bit of a pain as well to set these dips, but you know, you're not going to be messing around with them all the time. So, and there's like the RGB rainbow effect, which is quite nice. You see, you get like two hours of uh, 18650, uh, or you can just literally plug it in the mains and then it just runs, runs all day. I, I quite like it. I think, um, I think if you're going to make one like this, I've, got, I've gone with the GoPro uh, style hinges. So what you have to do is order the nuts and bolts for them. It's quite cheap, and then you could basically design your own bit to go in the middle. But I think it turned out quite well. As usual, there'll be a blog post with a description, a bit more info, maybe some. I might release these files. I probably will do. You can always remix them into something useful. But as they stand now, I don't think they're really that that useful. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.